we're going to factor by the greatest common factor here. So we're looking for the biggest number that divides evenly into 14 as well as 21. That would be 7. Let's also take a look at the variables. Notice that this term has 1x and this one has x to the second. So they at least, each one at least has an x. Also look at the y's. This term has y to the second and this term has y. So they at least have a y. Now we're going to put that in front of a parentheses. And then we're going to fill the parentheses with what we get when we divide each of the terms by the 7xy. Now let's divide. 14 divided by 7 would give me 2. x divided by x cancels each other out. y to the second divided by y gives me a y. Now let's look at the second term. 21 divided by 7 would give me 3. x to the second divided by x would give me an x. And y divided by y cancels each other out. 